Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to Linux tutorials this is Ali Raza and today I am going to demonstrate some of the basic Linux commands that we have uh, within the CentOS operating system. So in the previous lecture we have seen the overview and we have explored the Linux operating system with respect to its user interface and now we will see some of the uh, backend tasks and the commands that we can be we can be able to use within the Linux uh, terminal and with the help of these commands we can perform our basic task so quickly and easily and uh, it within a quick time span so let's start and have a look what we have today all right so as you can see i have opened a terminal in front of you and i have already demonstrated in the previous lecture that what is a terminal it's a basically a command prompt like interface but it's of white color no problem about that now the first command that we are going to use within the linux is a very simple command that is the date command you simply write the date keyword and press enter you can see automatically the system date and time along with the uh, um, so many things that is the day, um, name of the day and the uh, name of the month and the time in 24 hour format and the time zone and the year is all uh, appearing together in front of us. Now there are so many other things that you can be able to use with the date command uh, that say you wanted to display the date in some other format. I, I have pressed the up arrow key you can see my command is repeated again. So this is a shortcut to get back your previous command I hope it is clear to everyone. Now with the help of this date command you can be able to add syntaxes like in double quotes plus and then percent %t and then double quotes. This percent %t is an optional parameter with the help of this you can see only time is coming. Okay, So the whole list can be available uh, on internet and you can see the Linux official uh, sites where you can find, find out all the functions and all the commands and all the options of that particular command. With respect to this, let's say I, I wanted to show only the months and digits, so I will write small m and press enter, you can see. Okay. Similarly, I wanted to show some different uh, date format, let's say I wanted to see like person %d for day, then dash for, for months and then percent %y, okay. press enter, you can see the date is appeared in the format that I have specified. So this is how you can mix mode the command and you can use the command with respect to your choice. This is the date command. Now let's go forward and see some other command. Uh, another command is the clear command in order to clear the whole user interface or the whole command prompt that you are uh, working on. Okay. After that, uh, that was a very simple command clear. Now we have the tput command and the tput uh, clear command so let us see that t put clear what does this mean and we have another command t put cup with the help of this we can be able to move our uh, you can see our um, our marker within this uh, panel at our desired position let let me write here let's say 10 are the row number and the 10 is the column number or 2 is the column number you can see what will happen the command prompt will now start from at this particular point. So t put cup is the command name and then the row followed by the row number and the column number you can see on the second column on 10th row you are located or shifted your cursor. I hope it is clear to everyone. Now we have another command t put clear. What will happen with this you can see you, you will navigate back to your previous position where you were. Okay. So let me repeat that's t put clear for clearing the uh, change of location and we have t put cup to move the desired cursor at the desired position of the screen. Now let's go forward. We have some other commands. All right. So here you can write t u c h touch and then a b c d dot t x t. Press enter. What will happen? You will see our, a file will be created with the name abc within this directory home a raza. So open your directory that is home and within this directory we will see that file. Touch is the command basically that is help to create a file within your directory. Okay. So you can see guys we have created the file within the home directory with the name abc.txt. And now let us close this and go to the desktop and create a folder by right clicking on this 
a new folder. I am creating a new directory with the name, let us say, my data. Okay, now I am right clicking on my directory and I am opening this directory into terminal. So what will happen? My terminal will open with respect to this directory. And then whatever command that I will write in this, that terminal, the actions will be performed within this folder. Let me show you how. All right, just write the similar command that was touch and the name of the file that you wanted to create. Let us say index.html. Look, no error message or no other successful message, but the file will be created. If you see by entering into this file, open it. So my file with the name index.html is created within my directory. So I hope you have understood uh, how directory structure is working in Linux. Uh, on which folder you are right clicking and going to the terminal, that folder will be used as a di working directory of your terminal. I hope it is clear to everyone. Okay. Now let us continue and see the other things. What if, if I wanted to write or if I wanted to display all the files of a particular directory. I wanted to display all the files of a particular directory. For that purpose, I have a command with the name ls. Let me show you that. If I write here ls and press enter, you can see the number of files that we have within this folder is only index.html. Likewise, if we have hundreds and two hundreds of files, all the files will be listed down here in this particular way. Now, one more command we have with the ls command is the ls minus l that is the option and when you click on this you can see it will show you the read write permissions and who created this directory and when it is created and what is the name of the directory that means ls minus l give you more detailed uh, information about that particular file i hope it is clear to everyone okay now let us add something within that file in order to uh, search that content from that from within that file so minimize it go to that directory right click on this file and edit it we have notepad as a default editor in windows here we have gedit open with a text editor right my file is now open within my text editor and if i am writing here something let's say html or you can write some uh, some data of your choice html Sorry, the basic HTML syntax for writing the home page, and then we have the head and the head close, and then we have the body, and then the body close, and then I am writing a P or the OL or unordered list tag that is UL and then come inside and write an li tag here i'm closing it and i'm giving here some names let's say ali raza and now i'm copying this with the shortcut control c and control v is the shortcut for pasting same like windows then we have let's say muzammil then we have i'm writing certain names within this file tahir then walid and then save it so my file is now saved now close it okay this is my file and you can see a browser icon is displayed in front of us because it is an html file automatically detects the type of the file and then displays the icon accordingly now let us go to the terminal and uh, do some stuff we have a command with the name grep okay grep st uh, grep stands for global regular expression point and it with the help of this command we can find out the content of the file that we have within that file if i wanted to find let's say something i wanted to find the number of words we have the number of lines we have within that particular file we can be, we can be used we are using this grep command and with the help of this command we can be able to search and uh, take out the information of that particular file let me show you some examples if i write here grep and then I'm giving the file name that is index.html and before that file name we have to specify something a pattern or a regular expression that what I'm going to find 
so I'm I'm going to find let's say double O within my file so double O and press enter you can see nothing happened because our regular expression is not correct let me write uh, some other thing all right I have cleared it now you can see I have entered this command I wanted to find body within my HTML document the reason uh, why double O was not worked because I have an HTML document and you can be able to find let's say some tags so specify double quotes at the end sorry here now you can see so the body tag is there in the particular file okay similarly you can find anything with respect to the uh, regular expression that you can be uh, that you can be able to write now uh, let's write here some different command that is WC okay with the help of the word count we can be able to find the options or the number of words in within that file so WC that is another command and then the name of the file that is index.html and then press enter you can see it displayed me different data with respect to the different things here we have uh, certain options uh, that you can uh, specify with the uh, word count command so that you can be able to understand what data is what what is 12 what is 13 what is 20 what is 123 so let me show you if I write here WC minus L you can see it is showing me the number of lines so 12 is the number of lines within my document now if you write here minus W it is showing me 13 so you can see 13 is the number of words we have within the document and then we have the last option that is C minus C and it is showing me the number of characters that I have within the file so now you can see when this command I have written without any option it shows me the overall information of that file that I have 12 lines 13 words sorry uh, yes 12 lines 13 words and 123 characters overall within that file okay so these are some basic commands with the help of you can use the things so I hope it is clear to everyone that how commands are working within Linux so that's all for today uh, in the next lecture we'll see some more commands in more detail so keep practicing these commands so that uh, you can be able to be familiar with the Linux operating system with, uh, with respect to commands so that's all for today thank you so much take care Allah Hafiz